This is Jessica Williamson, and you're watching Zap Fruit. All that high fructose corn syrup in the soda you're drinking is not doing you any favors around the waistline. Well, here's a refreshing new alternative. It's not another disgusting Red Bull imitator. It's even better. It's soda made from cow's urine. Drinking cow's urine as a treatment for liver disease and cancer has been promoted by this group for some time now. And later this year, they'll be bringing drinkable cow pee to the masses. The soda will be designed to compete with brands like Coke and Pepsi, but the fundamentalist group's ultimate aim is to promote its ideology of Hindutva, or Hinduness. On Prakash, the head of the department said the drink, called Old gao jiao or cow water will not smell like cow urine and will be tasty and non-toxic too. Still, maybe selling cow piss is a step up for these guys. Their prior campaigns for purity include killing 67 Christians in the state of Orissa in 2008 and attacking women in Mangalore. They really know how to put the fun in fundamentalism. And now a story for all you map nerds. Check out Google Earth 5.0. They've integrated oceans into the new version, including portions of the seabed and video clips of ocean animals and sea exploration. And here's one way to get a lot of press about your scientific exploration. Tell the press you did it because of Google Earth. Scientists from the Royal Botanic Gardens use Google Earth to find future forest preservation sites in Africa. The place they landed was on the previously unexplored territory of Mount Mabu in Mozambique. As it turns out, they hit the jackpot, finding new species of butterflies, birds, a pygmy chameleon, and a rare orchid. On the other end of the green spectrum, check out planethauser.com. It uses the EPA's National Emission Inventory Database to map 86,000 polluters across the US. Oh, the sweet scent of transparency. Listed alongside the polluters, are the names of the companies and pollutants being emitted, making it much harder to be a scumbag these days. Or check out ilovemountaintops.org to see how you are adding to mountaintop removal to give you the coal that gives you electricity. You enter your zip code and it tells you whether your utility company is using coal extracted from mountaintop removal. Or check out froglife.org. It's a site that maps 700 places in the UK where toads regularly cross roads. The map returns real-time frog fatalities and crossings so that the group can notify the public of areas where animals tend to cross. Then you can take that information, get in your car and play the villain in a real life Frogger game. Nine, Nine ten, ten, eleven, eleven. Keep going. Okay. I'm gonna go grab us Twelve. some water. Oh, thirteen. Oh, <sighs> 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 forty-two, forty-three. Good job. 44. You're almost there. Forty-five. Staying in shape can be deliciously fun. Try baked Lay's crisps with 65% less fat than regular potato chips. Find them in the chip aisle with other snacks made just for you. So with the world unraveling, you might want to escape to a world of kittens and lollipops. Or whatever it is they say. So here's a Zaproot Animal Roundup. This is about the cutest thing I've seen in a long time. This koala survived the recent forest fires in Australia and was rescued by this guy. While this koala might have escaped unscathed, if you're a grey squirrel in Scotland, you might not be so lucky. Scotland is planning on spending $2 million to kill all the grey squirrels in the country. In this squirrely brave heart, the Scots have stepped forward to defend the weaker but native red squirrel, who are being displaced by the invasive greys. The Scots had tried to get people to eat grey squirrels, but as it turns out, they don't deep fry quite as well as Mars bars. In the US, Purdue Farms and the EPA have inked a clean water initiative to stop waste from chicken farms getting into local watersheds. Separately, Purdue will be halting the production of chicken smart water. The International Union for Conservation of Nature recently released a survey of over 1,700 scientists that found that over half of all animal species on the planet are in decline. But don't worry, not humans. Here's a picture of some pygmy marmosets. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Recently, geneticists from the US, Canada, and Great Britain studied the genetic sequence of the platypus. A multitude of genomes belonging to mammals, birds, and reptiles were found. Something you might not have known, a platypus has poisonous spines on the hind feet. These spines are connected to poisonous glands on the upper thighs. A sting from a platypus can easily kill a cat or a dog and even render a human unconscious for weeks. So don't go picking up any platypus kids. And in Nigeria, a car robbery suspect was chased down after fleeing the scene of a crime. Just before he was caught, the man apparently turned himself into a goat. So they arrested the goat and brought him to the police station. You hear that, goats? You can't escape the long arm of the law. Thanks for watching and be sure to check us out at zaproot.com. <laughs> hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.